DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice, DJ Event Planner, ADJ, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, Newmark, and DJ and TV Insiders. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you very much for hanging out with us tonight as part of the DJ uh, Hangout. And uh, tonight we've got uh, a quite an interesting um, checkup. If I understand correctly, Shaney and, and Howie earlier were playing doctor, and uh, they're going to be giving us a nice little checkup on Facebook. So, Shaney, why don't you why don't you give us a little bit? Because I'm sure you weren't really playing doctor. I'm sure it was it was something much more know, it appropriate. Like somebody else on the screen is playing doctor right now. I don't know what's happening. I another, think Sean is working right out. <laughs> Sean was getting dressed there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Are we recording? Uh, it's it's yes, recording on YouTube, so we're good. This is the Facebook checkup for everybody, and the reason I am doing this is um, hi. I know. Are you on a boat? No, okay, because I was going to say, I don't want you on here if you're like all in the sunny weather right now, because it's sunny by me. Um, the reason we are doing this is um, for a lot of reasons. One reason is I don't think a lot of people really know what is public and what is private on their own Facebook and what other people really see on your Facebook. Um, I know what you see on your Facebook, but I don't know if you really know what other people see on your Facebook. For instance, I've gotten a lot of friend requests, which is great. And I, and I love people that want to be my friend because I feel loved and, and it makes me feel good. But unlike maybe some other people, I don't just click like accept, 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 accept. Um, cause I really don't know who these people are. And to me, I don't care if we have 32 mutual friends. I like to just kind of see what you do for a living. If you are a DJ, um, it doesn't matter if you're not, cause I don't just DJ, but you know, see what you do, maybe a couple pictures and it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be like one or two pictures of what, um, what's going on with you. Just, just, just maybe like one or two things, but if your whole entire profile is completely private and I don't know what you do for a living, there's nothing on your profile picture and I can't see anything. I'm sorry to say, I don't care if we have 24 mutual friends. Decline. And it's nothing personal. And it, maybe you saw me in a Facebook group and you are a DJ, but I don't know you're a DJ until I probably accepted your friend and then everything popped up. But you might not even know that because you never realized that everything is private, including your business, including that stuff. And you might be like, oh, I didn't know my business name is not even public. Oh my God, how do I make then just my business name public? Because I want people to see at least my business name, how do I, can I just change that? Of course you can just change that. You don't have to make your whole entire profile public. I don't do that. But there are people that I have had friend requests that everything just shows up like no business, no, no this, no that, no this. And I'm no city. I'm like, no boo boo. I'm sorry. That might be your picture. And I don't, I'm not like Howie. I don't, I'm not gonna, I can't sit there and investigate, but I, sorry, I don't care how many friend friend we have mutual friends with. Can't do it. Can't do it. And again, it's nothing personal. And if you didn't send a message with it that said, hey, I met you at the DJ conference, blah, 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 blah. I ran into you. You were like mall walking down with your water and I yelled hi to you in this. I don't know who you were. So again, 
you got to be careful about that. Plus, if you're using your profile for business and for personal, you got to be really careful with that too, of what you're posting. Because I see a lot of people that are posting stuff about, hey, my DJ service and I'm running this special and use us. And then all of a sudden over the weekend, man, I'm so drunk. This is an awesome weekend. Woo. I'm sorry, I'm thinking, Shani. I'm sorry. I won't post that next yeah, time. That, yeah. And I'm thinking, wow, okay. I see they're doing business on their personal profile, which is great. I mean, I'm not saying you have to have a business profile and I have nothing against people that are doing business on their personal profile, but then you're also putting how drunk you are on your personal profile. So are you having your clients also see that or are you, do you, do you know how to do a custom on that, on that status while you're drunk where you're excluding just your clients? And if you know how to do that while you're drunk, I applaud you that you could drunk um, profile status that, but just certain things, because I'm going to be honest, that could hinder you, you know, and that could also help you when you're know how to do something right on your Facebook. You know, and Howie and I went through his where I actually showed him how to go in on his Facebook as somebody else. And he didn't even have his business name public. So his business name wasn't even there. So he was like, I don't, I want people to know my business name if they look at me. And I'm like, well, I don't see it. It's not on there. Your website's not on there for public. Your business name's not on there for public. You don't need to have anything else public if you don't want. And he's like, well, I need to change that. And I'm like, yes, you do. And then he said he changed some statuses too that were you know public or private and things like that. So for those that don't know how to do it, you know, we can go in there and I can show you guys. And then I want you guys also to give some, some of your feedback. Um, you guys could have like two minutes to talk a little bit about, you know, your personal opinion on your, your own profile on if you use it for business, if you use it for personal, if you use it for both, what you do on yours, if you want to give your own little tips on what you do. I mean, I have a business one and I have a personal one, but I don't, on my personal one, I don't go crazy on it for personal, but I also know how to customize where I can hit exclude on certain people. So people don't see certain posts and things like that. Like if I don't want Brian to see something, you know, if I don't want people from like the cheese head place to see certain things from Chicago, I can do that and things like that. He's hopped so, up on Starbucks. Um, you know, so like one thing really quick that I'm just going to tell you guys really quick, if you go to your own personal Facebook profile and you click on that and you go like where your cover picture is, you're, you're going to see, three like little boxes on it. One's going to say edit profile. The other one's going to say view activity log. And then there's going to be like three little dots, like a box of three Shane, little you dots on it. Shane, you want to walk me through? I'll do it with mine. I'm, I don't know. Oh, sure. That way. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to share. That'd be awesome uh, sauce. Let's see. Chrome. There we go. Can you guys see the. Okay. So you see that now he's going to click on the three little dots right there. Where? On his, where it says edit profile, view activity log. Edit profile. Um, oh, right there. Three little dots. There we go. And where it says view as, he's going to click view as. Okay. Now, John is viewing it as Joe Schmo on Facebook. Oh, uh, this tells you your proof. It looks like a specific friend. Okay. So I could go to a specific person. Well, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go on it okay. like this is just Joe Schmo DJ that's ghosting John. And looking through John's profile. Now stop right there. So if you look at the left side where it says his intro, John, it says where John lives. Mm -hmm. It says where's John from. Now it says followed by 554 people. Now I don't know if John really wants people to see that. He might want to change that and be like, I don't need strangers knowing that I'm followed by 554 people. I might want to change that to private. Sure. Now, he also might want to put in there, which when we go back to his Facebook profile where he sees it himself, where it might say Disc Jockey News, because on his intro, it doesn't say Disc Jockey News. Yeah, I see this. I didn't, wouldn't have known this. Right, because that's probably private. When you're friends with him, you see all that. Now, on the bottom, it's pretty good because under his, his profile picture, he does have all his websites and stuff. So all of that is public. Mm -hmm. So that stuff is good that all that stuff is public. And he might want to click through some of his photos and be like, Oh, I don't know. Some of those photos were 
were made public. And then I know he went through his series of, um, of, of this weekend. Of, um, <laughs> I didn't really get to see it cause I was working. Oh, you missed but, out. Oh, it, it, it was good reading. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew it was, I knew it was quite happening. entertaining for me but, on Saturday. But the, the main thing is if we scroll back up, I want you to scroll back and now I want you to go to your intro where, um, go to the box to the, your left up here and click on no no no, no down no, where it says on. intro oh, intro i'm sorry yeah click on intro can i click to the right there should be on, yeah. some dots can we click on that as no. a as as anybody mm, no okay not. click on about i'm sorry click on about. About, about, about okay yeah now this is joe schmo looking at this too so joe schmo doesn't even know that he were he like he thinks john doesn't work anywhere well that's kind of accurate but <laughs> I, I'm glad you said it. Yeah, I was thinking. I mean, we were it, all now, thinking of it. Of course, yeah. anyone that really knows John <laughs> knows him from, from Disc Jockey News, and of course, all the websites are there. But he might want to add that to the public part of it, just to kind of have that as public, to kind of put that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he might want to put his wife is public. If he wants to, considering she is in the picture, that's just a personal preference. If he wants to have her as a public, you know, that's again is a personal preference. Um, now he, and if you click, if you scroll a little down, like I said, it is public of his followers. He might want to change that to private. I don't know if he wants everybody knowing his business that those are mm -hmm. his followers. Um, those are the public photos that he has. Those are all the kind of business, his jockey news stuff. Those are the videos that he has. Those are check-ins that are public. And then he can like go to um, his posts and kind of look at those and, and things like that. Hmm. So Shaney, one, one question here. Yeah. Um, and just- I'm not so, looking chats right now. So yes, please. No, no, that's fine. So you, you talked about he might want to change this. So yes. let's assume for a second he wanted to change um, change something to the private area. So, yes. so for example, we talked about the info earlier. How mm -hmm. would he go about doing okay. that? Okay. So John, we're going to get out of this view as Joe Schmo, and we're going to go back to like your normal John Young. You're looking at your Facebook. So you can okay. just exit. Yep. Yep. Exit that. Go click and on now that. we're back at you. Okay. Now you're going to go to about. And see how you have all that workplace and everything. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to, yes, go that where you're, uh-huh. Edit your work, okay. Uh-huh. And you see where it has, okay, right there. See, that says oh. you're only showing your friends that. Oh. So oh, we want to change. You didn't even have to click all the way over there, but that's okay. Okay. Well, so me... so instead of showing that we're only going to show our friends that, if you want. No, it's not showing up here. So let's cancel that and yeah. right well, here. No, actually. So, or do I need to go under options? Options, uh huh. Okay. Come on. Why am I not clicking right? Edit. So yeah, I'll have to do edit there. Okay. So to the I, left of the save changes, hold on, John. I'm gonna go to mine. Oh, there so, we go. Friends, right here. Okay. So then I would make that public. public. Yep. Save that one. So now, when Joe Schmo goes to look at John Young to see if he wants to be friends with him. He's going to see that John Young is disc jockey news sales guy, and he's going to see that. Now, if you want him to see any of your other stuff as well in your mm -hmm. in your about, any of your other information, your school, your studies, your places you've lived, your contact, your basic information, any of uh, DJs, any of your stuff in your about. It's all here. Yeah. So you guys can go through any of your things, customize it. You could customize it to whatever you want. Mm hmm you guys can go through all that. You could change it from private to public to customized to only certain people looking at it, okay. things like that. So now how would I shut off if I don't want the followers the to followers, show followers. Okay. So you, um, you are going to go to, let's see, we'll go to friends here. Okay. Okay. And I believe you're going to go to more if you go. Yep. And go to followers. Yes. Okay. And let me see if I'm doing this right. This is also the one that ended up being a wake up call for me. Um, if you saw the yes, stuff that went through Facebook a little while you're searching for that. Um, this is, I think it's probably about a month or two ago where people were like, oh, you've got people following. You don't even know who they are. Yep. Right there and, it is. And 
like you go in that list and I mean, there's like 30 some people I know on mine and, and John has 500 some, he may not even know or want those people to follow him. Like that well, was kind of like thing. a weird wake here's up. Thing, Dan, I'm going to be honest with you. When you decline a friend request, they follow you. Did you know that? Hmm. No, hmm. I did not. Yeah. So if somebody friend requested me and because if you, if you think about it, when you, if you ever friended request somebody, when you friend request them, it says friend request and it says following. If you unclick that word following, you're not following their, their public statuses anymore. So that was there. So when you decline a friend request, they're still following you. Hmm. Yeah, I went through and, and deleted a whole bunch of them. So yeah. That, so. so when you decline somebody, they're still they're still following you. So when you have like when they had those like robot really weird friend requests back like a couple of years ago, we were all getting like really weird friend requests. Mm -hmm. They were like, these are not real people. Those people were like still following us and things like that. So the people that I kind of declined this week because I couldn't see any of their, like I said, it wasn't personal. I just couldn't see any of their personal information. I didn't decline them like as my follower because I, for all I know, they really were DJs and I didn't want it, but I might in a week sit there and do exactly what you did and just block, block, block Look again, nothing against you guys, boo-boos, but I might just block you guys. Like, oh. Sorry, <laughs> you know, like I don't know who you guys are. I don't need a ghost follower. I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you, Shani. That is that's, yeah. That's it's pretty I mean, cool. it's you know, and then again, like that's you know, if you're trying to if you're trying to get more business, if you're trying to get more people to your page, again, like I said, with a friend request, you know, I some people friend requested me, and I just couldn't see any of their information. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I've I've had that I too. See anything. I couldn't see their work. I couldn't see anything. And, and their profile pic was like, you know, an animal and I love animals, but it didn't help me. <laughs> so I was like, I want to click yes. Cause I have that love for animals, but again, I don't know who this person is. So I just had to decline it because I was like, I don't want to deal with, I just can't deal with more drama. In my life. It, was, it was Sarah McLaughlin secretly wanting to sing to you. Oh, about please. I, please don't make me cry. That I have to leave the room. I have to like, even if I'm exhausted or I just like close my, I'm like, <laughs> I can kind of watch this. Kind of watch this. Yeah. I have nineties on I have nineties on Sirius XM and and we were listening the other day and the song came on and I was like change. But I want, you know, and I want more people to be aware that if they are using their personal page for business and for personal, just be careful what what you're writing on your page. And I'm not talking and I'm not trying to be the whole political thing. I, I'm not getting into that tonight. We're not talking about political. We're not talking about religion. I don't want to get into any of that. Like I'm not, but just be aware, you know, if you have your clients on your personal page, just be careful what you write about because they might be clients that loved you, but then future client, they might talk to future clients, be like, you know what? He was great for, for my event, but he's getting a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now. with some of the stuff he's posting, you know, I'm just, you know, he was great a year ago, but I don't, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen him at a party, but you know, some stuff he's posting, I don't know what's happening. So just, just be aware of it. Or you want to post it, customize it, put your, put your clients in, a, you could put your clients in a customized category and put, a, I do that. Like I have, I have my, my Taekwondo and my dance students. They're young. They want to friend me on Facebook. I try to just get them to come to follow me like on Snapchat or something, mm -hmm. but they want to, you know, oh, I'm on Facebook. I don't want to follow you on Facebook. You know, not that I post anything crazy on Facebook now because I don't, but I used to have like my, the, the girls that I used to dance with back in the day used to be like, Hey, Mitch, you know, you know, what you doing and not you a hoe, you know, and I don't need my dancers, you know, my young ones, like, why is she calling her a hoe? Like, you know, where are we going gardening later? <laughs> you know, yeah, not that kind of, but so I have them in a category and they could only see certain things on my Facebook. So they could only actually see my DJ stuff. They can't see personal stuff that like my friends are posting. Not that my, like again, my friends now are not posting stuff from the club getting turned up, but you know, but like, you know, right when Facebook came out, they were still posting stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you can put your clients in a category if they're on your personal page. 
so you can customize things like that. Now, I am not a Facebook guru, please. I still have a v- VHS and I'm proud of it. So, okay. Like, uh, there's no shame in my game, okay? You go, girl. I, and, and I'm going to be honest. I have a Betamax too. And I, okay. So, Ooh. whatever. So, I am not one to like tell you guys like the secrets and stuff like that because I'm the first one to do a 911 text to any of the, my pioneer guys. And you could ask Christian and any of those pioneer guys. Like I'm the first one to 911 when I'm at the club and there's something going wrong with a CDJ. So I'm not one to give you guys all the advice. I'm just trying to help you out with the stuff that I've learned and I know. So don't think like Shady is like guru 101 because I am nowhere near any of that kind of stuff. So I hope like my little insight helps you guys a little or a lot to kind of give you guys a little bit more perspective. Good. Paul's giving me a thumbs up. So that helps me out. Thank you, Paul. I'm a little better right now. Thank you, Robin. So I hope that helps you out. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. I, oh, Scott, I want to tell you something. Uh, we could do it all offline after this because it really has something to do with this. Um, that kind of thank you, Bill Marsh. Thumbs up in the chat. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Howie, do you have any, you got two minutes if you want to say anything right now. Actually, actually, let's, let's, uh, John, let's, let's yes. hold on to that for just a second. Oh, let's, hold on to let's that. wrap this up. We'll shut this off on YouTube because this was a great little segment. I wasn't even watching. I'm sorry, guys. I was no. not, I usually am good with the YouTube chat, but since we were in Zoom tonight, guys, yeah. I'm very, very sorry. Yeah. And everything, they could see everything in Zoom. So let's, let's just, okay. uh, uh, let's just wrap this segment. We'll shut down the, uh, the, the, uh, Zoom or not Zoom the YouTube and the um, Facebook. And if you guys are out on YouTube and Facebook, I'll put the links in for the Zoom and then jump into the Zoom. And that way that chat can uh, can go beyond beyond the show. That way we'll keep this kind of a shorter, tighter uh, segment for oh, YouTube. Okay. And then you guys can do question and answer and, and dig into different things more in depth. So, Awesome. Okay. So the link is in the YouTube uh, chat room. You guys just click on that, and it'll ask you if you don't, if you've never used Zoom before, you can download it. It's a free app, and then you'll be able to come in there. You don't have to turn your camera on or your mic on. You can just come in there and listen to and watch everything, and you'll see the uh, Brady Bunch thing going on, and it works really well. Cool. So Dan, we'll let you wrap up. So. Thank you, Shane, for uh, filling us in a little bit of details on Facebook and, and just how to be able to keep yourself private or make yourself a little bit more public, but basically how to make the most use of some settings that you probably had no clue you were misusing. Um, so thank you very much for the checkup. Yeah. We will uh, do what? She said yes. Oh, yes. Okay, good. I totally missed it all what yeah. she said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, C. it was the accent again. She's she's using her C. only accent. That's she's got. Cito. C. It's a. I told you that last time. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in for that. Um, we'll be back with more. Check us out next Monday. Guaranteed. Good topics. Thanks, Shane. Uh-huh.